So people always ask me how the steering on this bike works. So I had the part to access the battery for something because Italian bike, you gotta remove the side panels to even access the battery. Anyways, I thought this would be a good time to make a video showing exactly how it works. So obviously on the steering handlebars, are full. don't worry, that's just the tire squeaking. Now, if you can see at the bottom of the triple clamp, there's that big billet part that is only going to the left side. It is not there on the right side. So that is right here is an even better area. So that is the thing that is turning when you turn the handlebars. And what that does is now you have this joint and pivots down to here. And then, so as you can see now, when you're back and forth, that joint moves. And then it is pivoting here, as you can see, which then goes down to this joint. And here, there is a black plate there that is connected to this joint here. So essentially, you have this rod, you have these two rods, and then there's a lot of plates back here, presumably to get the angle just right. But so now when you, as you can see, as you pivot, that moves. And then through all the joints, this outer rod moves as well. You might say, what the heck is this inner rod for? So there's an inner rod on this side as well. And all those two rods do is they do not do anything with steering. What they do is keep the axle level, uh, not quite parallel to the ground, but it's keeping the axle level to the rest of the bike, I guess you would say. So yeah, as you steer those outer things connected to these giant plates, they don't move because they're keeping this axle level while this inner rod moves. It's connected to the this hub around the wheel and then this hub pivots from side to side over this axle. So, assuming I didn't just lose you, let's go through this again. You've got the triple clamp, and then that pivots here, goes all the way down to some crazy plates behind the frame, and then this rod, I'm sorry, I almost pointed the wrong one. This rod goes in and out, which causes the wheel to pivot like so. As this rod and this rod over here, all they're doing is keeping the position of this axle, the actual axle, while this can pivot back and forth around it. So anyways, hope that might have been a little bit helpful. Obviously, this is a really, really cool bit of engineering. It's why I fell in love with it and needed one. So, yes, if you ever see one for sale, I highly recommend you pick them up. They are pretty cool, and you will have to explain how the steering works to everyone you meet. Anyways, have a good one.